so when you stretch a rod so obviously some energy will be stored in the rod so let's derive what is the formula for elastic potential energy per unit volume so i'll tell you what the answer is going to be so it is half stress into strain and obviously you can write in terms of stress alone or strain alone so it can be written as half y into strain square or stress square by 2y but this is the more easier way to remember half stress into strain so let's derive this formula so for that the let's take an analogy of a spring so you pull the spring with the force f dash so let's say you are pulling the string slowly so equal and opposite force f is applied on this point by the spring so if this is the natural length let's say the this point has moved by distance x and it is the property of the spring that force is proportional to x so in this case f is equal to minus kx now this is the force exerted by the spring so in stretching the spring by any dx further amount you can say du is equal to minus f dot dx why negative sign because f is the force by the spring so it is not the external force it is the internal force that's why change in internal energy is negative of internal force dot displacement so let's write f is equal to minus kx and what we get is u is equal to kx square by 2 so you must already know this derivation it's a very basic derivation so we are just doing it again because our the situation of the spring is analogous to situation where we pull the rod and stretch it so now let's say we have a natural length rod at l and we pull it further by distance x so again we are pulling it slowly so just like here we are pulling with f dash and the rod is pulling the thread by force f and both are equal f and f dash now we know it's the property of the rod that stress by strain is constant which is young's modulus so stress will be f dash by a and strain will be x divided by original length l so if we write it in terms of f the sign of f dash will be changed so the same equation we can write as f by a is equal to minus y x by l so here f is the internal force or you can write f is equal to minus of a y by l into x now you can see for a rod a, y and L, all three are constants. So you can, let's say that constant is K. And now this formula is similar to what we have here. So just like our result here, we can directly now say that U is equal to half KX square. So half K and X in our case is delta L. So U is equal to A, Y sorry a y by l into delta l square by 2 and now let's introduce the term of strain so strain is delta l by l so we are 1 l short so let's multiply and divide by one more l so this becomes a y l by 2 delta l by l whole square and we know delta l by l is strain so this becomes y strain square by 2 and let's take a, a l here so u by al and what is al so cross sectional area a into l is the total volume of this rod so what we got is the total energy stored per unit volume and that comes to be y by 2 into strain square therefore elastic deformation energy per unit volume for any material is half y epsilon sorry half y strain square is equal to half sigma into into strain because y into strain is sigma or you can completely remove strain by writing strain is equal to stress by y so that will be y into stress square by y square and one y will get cancelled so sigma square by 2y so all three formulas are same all right